Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last part, we did Alucard stuff. His name's Alucard, by the way. You know, opposite of Dracula. I'm gonna, it's gonna, cause it's, it's just gonna annoy me if I keep on calling him Dracula. Um, to show off another one of his moves, if I can, Dark Metamorphosis. When you, um, when you actually cut up, cut open enemies, didn't really show it there, but when you cut open, real, whoa, come on. When you cut open enemies and you suck up their blood, you actually heal your HP. Which I kind of find kind of... <laughs> it's one of his more dark powers, to be perfectly honest, but, um... It's still pretty cool, so why not use it? So, yeah, more ex exploration, more knife axe warriors. These things were so annoying in the first game, now weren't they? And, you know, I realized while, while playing this game that, um... Castlevania is an awesome series. I really like it. I like, like pretty much all the games I played. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Maybe I should learn from my lesson. Don't I have an axe? Yeah, not as good as their axe. Um, but yeah. Um, if you're ever wondering why I'm doing like such weird like movements around, not not counting the back dashing. The back back dashing is just to be faster. I like I'll go in weird directions or take detours. It's because getting 100% of this game means means completing the entire map. And like you know, you have to go out of your way to more times than not. You have to go out of your way to complete the map. So a lot of the times I'll be going, you might have guessed, out of my way. So another one of those loading screens. Those statues have titties. Just throwing that out there, how obscene. So now we're in Marble Garden Zone. Um, nothing pretty interesting here, except it's probably the last... <laughs> Not really, I don't know what to say about it. It is pretty important, everything in this game is important. In, in reality, the castle of this game isn't that huge, it's only one area, and it's like, you know, it's a really big castle, but like, I find it much easier to navigate my way around here, other, like, rather than like, things like symphonies and... I'm supposed to have holy water, aren't I? Why don't I? That's gonna be annoying. That's I really do need holy water, and I can't get back to my original position. That's gonna be unfortunate. That might trouble me in <laughs> just a few minutes, as you soon find out. So I'm not gonna save. Oh, okay. Apparently I am. Just because I have to save at every, absolutely every save room in case I die. Because that would be annoying. You know what's more annoying is having to watch me save at absolutely every single save room in case I die. Whatever, I'm sure you lovely viewers will can can find your find a way to put up with me. Can you? I don't know. I, I can be a little incredibly annoying at all times. Or maybe not annoying. <laughs> Smug. More like it. But just like, you know, not enticing? I don't even know the words. You tell me. So, we got these girl mannequins. That's kind of creepy. Of course, who would have thought? This is, this is a game that I started for Halloween. It should be, in fact, very ass creepy. Very ass creepy? I, I don't know. That's a new word, I guess. Ass creepy. So, we got the spirit orb. I think that allows us to see how much damage we do. Not very useful, but you know, it helps to know if you're like not doing anything at all. So, you know, that can be a tipper. So, now we're gonna do a, but a, a long sidetrack once more. But you know, the whole get prem. I mean, is it really a sidetrack? Because the whole premise of the game is to explore the castle. So, technically, I'm doing what the game intends me to do. We got this. We got this. <laughs> this huge guy with his ball and chain. He can very kill, very quickly kill you. I wanted to have holy water so I can kill him easily, but instead I have the good old daggers because that was use. Because <laughs> that's the most useful item in every single Castlevania game we play, right, guys? For you guys who have played Castlevania, which is a good question. Have you guys played Castlevania? I mean, I'm. I mean, I don't know who I'm asking this to because most of the people in Google. I mean, we even did a race, so I'm, I'm sure they play Castlevania. I don't know how many people have played this game is a better question, but like, how do, what do you guys think of this series? Ain't it swell? So we got another giant ass monster coming up soon. Again, Tetra Spirit <laughs> makes quick work of these guys. And you want to do that before he decides to turn around and starts effing your shit up? I only have 60 health, that could have easily killed me, I was kind of scared for a second. So more backdashing, hooray, ain't, ain't it just the funniest thing around? I do like these loading screens. There's not, they're not actually loading screens, but they still load things. Oh god, I just remembered, I'm gonna have to make a jump that's gonna kick my ass because I can never make this jump! No, damn it. Um, if I, if I keep on failing it, I might actually just meet you back. But I'll try it once more. We're back to where we once were. A lot of the, see, it, 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 everything does really, like, intertwine, and I'm saving again. Why am I saving again? Because you guys probably find it incredibly annoying at this point. Maybe I just subconsciously want to see that dodecahedron shape once more, because it ain't just swell. I'm at full health, so there's no need to do anything. How much H? I almost have 50, um, 50 magic power. Maybe at my next level up, I'll be able to actually use, um, soul steel. Which is another form of healing. Like, self-healing. Okay, so, 
You want to back dash and jump, and Jess made it. Okay, cool. So, you could, later in the game when you get the double jump, that's probably much easier to get, and we probably, in fact, will be here by the time we get double jump, but you know, just for now. Why not? For giggles. Because we did, we did have to take that long ass detour in the first place, so you know, might as well you know get something out of it because we're gonna have to do. You might have guessed. I'm not. You might have not guessed. Actually, we're gonna have to do some backtracking because that's lovely, right? We're just gonna have to backtrack to back the. We have to go back the way we came, as Kermit the Frog would say. And I will admit, there is a lot of backtracking in this game, as with most Castlevania games, to be honest. So you know you can't. Well, not most Castlevania games, as as of most Metroidvania games. Might I say? Oh God, he's gonna rape me! No, no, I'm not PewDiePie. Well, I, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I have to apologize for that. But now we can waltz on. Fun fact: that was <laughs> that monster we just killed was Cthulhu, the Lord of Evil. So you know, this gives you a little kind of um, you know, kind of just shows just how badass Alucard is. We just killed. Cthulhu, for one thing. Apparently none of my friends know what Cthulhu is, but you know, whatever. You guys probably know what Cthulhu is, guys, right? Well, no, that's not true, because no one besides everyone who's my friend who watches this videos, apparently. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. This is kind of what happens when you backtrack. Throw holy water. It's just as badass as always. No, no, it's not as badass as always. That's unfortunate. I almost died. Those two monsters have a habit of killing me. I remember the first time I played this game, I died to them all the time, and it was really annoying. So luckily, that's not much of a problem, you know, <laughs> as you can just see. Just use your, just, if you use your spells, you really can make quick work of them. That kind of goes for every single enemy in this game. You use your spell, if you use like things like tetrahed tetrahedron properly, um, you can just kind of wreck everything. Especially soul steel. Do I even have soul steel yet? I don't even know. But you know, it's, it's cool. Dracula, um, Keep a counter for that and slap me every time I say that. Through the internet, of course. Um, Alucard has some awesome abilities, I must admit. Which will, we haven't even, you know, hit the tip of the iceberg. Or the tip of the castle, there's a lot of the castle to explore as well. But, okay, yeah, two more. Backdashing, I just love it so. Everything in this game is so fluid, I've already said that before, but it's like, we, we. Yeah, exactly, that's the exact sensation I think of when I do that. And this time I'm not gonna save. But I'm just gonna, you know, I, I do want the HP up because that's always useful. Not dying is never a fun thing. And hopefully I don't die because then I won't come back to that save point and then I'll just be mad at myself. Oh, we got Flea Man. Don't we just love these? The most <laughs> annoying spazzes in the world. Scrubs. Um, just die. Okay, cool. And we got a room full of clocks. 13 clocks, I think. Oh, uh, 9. Oh, hey, look at you. It's Maria. Maria, as Shadow would say. Is that car? Yes, in fact it is, but who cares? I'm gonna go anyways, because I'm only have to do for eight for minutes. Hear that, guys? I'm developing self-confidence. Um, yeah, I just completely... I'm Maria. I completely just dismissed this entire cutscene, didn't I? Alucard, the best name ever. What are you talking about? This guy's just the chatterbox of the century. Of the century, because Dracula reincarnates every century. Except now, which according to the story of the game, he's mysteriously back for some reason. Don't know why. Oh yeah, that's one thing. That's one result of, um, you know, talking when people's around. People also talk. Who would have thought, you know? I, I could have sworn this entire world that no one talked to me, but apparently not. How? That was a, a bad miscal- I can't remember the show made any mud line. It's like a something miscalculation, but who cares, because then you get it anyways. Well, unless you're obsessed with Tweeby like I am. But, you know, that's a different game, which I also happen to be LPing. That's kind of funny. Both of these games are actually rarely pretty obscure, Tweewee and Symphony of the Night. Oh no, I just, I mean, I play the games I like, and it oh so happens that the games I like are pretty obscure. I mean, that's like true, but it's also a total lie, because I... <laughs> Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Paper Mario are far from obscure. But, you know, it's a bit half and half. I like to keep things, you know new and fresh or something. Oh no. Don't bother going up there because you can. It's one of those things where you have to, just like Metroid, go back when you, you know, have the proper thing. So in this room, we got some enemies that bleed, so let's have some dark metamorphosis going on. You can also see their asses. That's rather obscene. The booty shots. Oh no. If, um, if you look outside the window, you'll see a giant eyeball just kind of peeking in. So that's kind of creepy. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's probably trying to, you know, get a glimpse of the, um, the good old drum. Which is, you know, how scandalous. Um, so yeah, just kill more of these guys. I don't know what these guys are. I only see these guys in this area, so that's kind of weird. And later on, we'll also see these flower things, which can stone you. 
not pot, but you know, it, it's equivalent. They will get you stoned if they hit you with um, <laughs> if they hit you with their attack and getting and you know, it's kind of annoying because you have to shake out of it, just like the Medusas. Another loading screen. I I, I can admit I, I don't know why it says CD, but it does. So now we're in here, the outer walls, and I think well, this is the last area we'll be exploring before we head it off. I mean, we we did accomplish a lot. In here. Oh god, be careful of that guy, he has a habit of killing me. Oh, that didn't do too much, I thought it did more than that. But you know, nothing nothing that a good old Tetra Spirit will absolutely dominate. So, what spoils does he have? An empty room! Oh, my favorite. Um, no, that's not, that's a lie. In here is a pot roast, and um... Oh, damn. Sorry guys, but uh... I, I totally forgot what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um... Let's kind of recap. It's only part two. Come on, Skidflash, pull it together. I I think I'm supposed to be going to the library or something. But oh no, oh, look at that. So if you wait there long enough, you'll get these powerful items, which you're not supposed to be getting right now. The super fist or the jewel fist, and the uh, the um the miracuras, right? Well, what did I equip? The miracuras, which um protect you from getting stoned. So which which is fine, which is lovely. Um, especially against when, like, there's an abundance of Medusas everywhere, because we all know how annoying that can be. Um, but yeah, um, normally you're supposed to have the mist power up, but if you just wait there long enough, you will get it, which is, which is a fun little, you know, thing. Yeah, mist could pass. We also have these, we also have these very powerful fists at this point in the game, so we're pretty overpowered until we get better weapons, which isn't going to be for a while. And, um, yeah, let's look in this telescope. I swear, every, like, whether or not this, like, this boat guy comes is like completely random because sometimes he shows up and sometimes he doesn't. But here's the um, yeah, there's the the the, the guy who I know he's a he's the fairy guy who leads you to the 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 realm of the dead, the river of sticks according to mythology. I'm not sure I'm not sure what kind of mythology this game follows because we got the Medusa and then we got vampires, which from my understanding from are from totally different like you know places. But whatever. Um, one thing you'll probably be annoyed with me by the time that this LP finishes. If I check my map a lot, and that's because I need to make sure that I'm, like, you know, have all the map completion that I can possibly get. That's just a side effect of, you know, playing this game. And 100%ing it, of course. Okay, what what the hell is this? Yeah, okay. Die, again. Really powerful fists. They <laughs> get the jab in on it. It's always fun. Um, I think we're coming up to a boss fight, aren't we? Usually when there's save points, there's always boss fights. Or sometimes there's just save points just to make sure if you want to save. I will admit, the save points can be pretty, um, sparring the first time you play this game like they're only like they're really few and far between but once you get used to it and once you stop dying as much which was my main problem um you know i feel like they're fairly placed and we got a broken cage that's lovely um before i enter this fight i want to <laughs> um no no i don't want to do that that is not at all what i want to do i just want to de-equip all my stuff and um yeah <laughs> i guess because for this boss fight as we'll soon find out we get blocked and we are going to be battling, as we can soon see. Okay, we got the portal to um, the other world. It's Medusa's mirror. Wasn't this in the Kid Icarus Uprising? Like the mirror that made Dark Pit. I must admit that Dark Pit is like one of my favorite characters ever. Just he's badass. But that's an entirely different game. We're fighting Doppelganger Adelcard. You want to hit him with Red Rust. And what this does, if I can even get a hit on him, why is he? Oh my gosh, daggers is an effective weapon. Who would have thought? Jeez. Can I just... you, you. Oh my gosh, he is the <laughs> most supreme of all tactics. Did I get cursed? What? What is going? Okay, that's embarrassing. He's cursed now. Basically, he can attack with his sword. Or something. I honestly don't know what that cursing him does. But Brain Scratch Comms does it, and I have to copy absolutely everything Brain Scratch Comms does. So, you know, why not? He will still throw daggers at you, but, you know, daggers only do one damage. They're like little mosquito bites, and he's dead. So, haha, doppelganger Alucard. Only, I mean, shouldn't his name be Dracula if he's the opposite, if he's like, you know, copy Alucard? It is Dracula backwards, but how many times have I mentioned that in the past two parts even? So what did this actually get us? We kind of just went around. We got the gra Gladius, not as good as their jewel swords, I can tell you that much. Oh, we needed to go through here. It was necessary to traverse. Who would have thought? Um, so yeah, going up. Wow, there is a ton of fog. I don't know why fog is just here. Lumen. Um... I'm pretty sure that takes us to where we need to go, and everybody knows where we need to go is not where we need to go. There's a Donkey Kong zombie throwing barrels, not sure what that's all about. Spear guy, and as annoying as ever. Yeah, the one, the one, the one drawback 
to having um using your fists as a weapon is that you have like a really short reach. And I'm really low on time. I'm gonna have to book it to the next save point and just end it off there. So go back to where you came. Go burn in a sea of imaginary numbers. If I was drowned, you don't burn in the ocean, do you? I don't know. And we got gun zombies. That's obscene. You don't use guns in sword fighting games. That goes against the rules. There's a wolf thing there which we'll be seeing later. Not now. But um, we'll, we'll be seeing what's up with that. Giant ass sword guy, go back to the dimension. I don't know which guys. Every every like enemy has their own unique, well, maybe not unique, but they have like cool little death animations, which is always cool. Um. Okay, press that elevator switch. Oh, you know what? We can actually do this next part. We're we're gonna have to go back down anyways. The whole thing that's up here, the only thing that's up here is actually is actually a save point, so you know, it doesn't really matter. So up here, that's more rooms we can't go through. But yeah, that was here's our save point. We can end it off here. In the next part, we'll be exploring the library and you know more of this mysterious foggy wall place. Until then, this has been Skidplash. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.